Hey everybody, Mike here, April 21st, 2017. Thank God it's Friday. Boy, that's been a long while since I said that, right? Exactly. Hey, thanks to the few subscribers that subscribed uh, this last week. I do appreciate that very much. I don't have much content up right now, so, you know, I'm not getting a whole heck of a lot of subscribers. But that stands to reason, you know. Um, anyway, uh, just wanted to let everybody know that I had surgery on the 19th, the morning of the 19th. Um, everything went uh, well. Everything went okay. Um, went in and uh, they got me prepped really super fast, a lot faster than the surgical center. I had it done at the last time. This time it was done at the surgery center at the hospital because um, uh, my new doctor uh, doesn't have a yet, I would imagine, he's a young guy, he doesn't have a business yet where he's you know in cahoots with a lot of other uh, doctors and they have their own surgical center. So he's doing it at the hospital. Um, it was kind of surprising um, when they were getting me prepped and the two nurses that were going to be in the uh, operating room with him, assisting him, um, the one female had kind of came up to me and said, hey, I read your case. Uh, I, I kind of know why you're here. I mentioned the old doctor's name and her eyeballs just rolled with a shaking head. So to me, it seems it's obvious that this isn't the first time that something like this has happened with the other doctor. Um, she had voiced to me that she was very, very, very thankful that my new doctor that's doing the surgery, um, uh, that did the surgery on the 19th, who's my urologist, uh, said they were very, very happy to have him come on board. Um, she was very elated about that. So it only just goes to show me how much of a tool uh, the other guy was, and he probably needs to be out of the business. He's been doing it for way too long, and he doesn't treat you like it's your first time. He treats you like his it's like it's his four thousandth, eighteen thousandth time of doing this. So, uh, not a good doctor at all by any means. Um, I have a an appointment with a malpractice lawyer in two two and a half weeks or so. I'm going to go talk to them, see if there's anything that can be done. If there's not, and if nobody wants to take it on because there's no loss of limb or anything like that, then I'm going to start the process of writing uh, a complaint, a formal complaint letter, to about five or six places. His surgical center, the hospital where he's uh, the on-call uh, urologist, um, the urology departments, both in Arizona and National, and the American Medical Association, and my insurance company. We'll all be getting the letter. I'm sure that the insurance company uh, would like to take, instead of them paying the 40000 some odd dollar bill that it was for the three days at the hospital, I'm sure they're probably going to want to get it from his insurance company. And then we'll see what comes from there. Um, what uh, Also, uh, what was really cool is my new doctor visited me after, not just before, but after surgery to let me know. And he's telling me, you may not you know, you may not remember any of this because a lot of people don't after anesthesia. I wake up pretty good after, pretty well after anesthesia. And, you know, I, I don't, I'm not uh, uh, too miscombobulated. So I kind of remembered the whole conversation that I had with him. Um, and uh, he visited afterwards just to talk. So that was really cool. And this time, instead of leaving, they had to put, they still put a stent in. And the reason they put a stent in is because I would imagine with all the work that's being done through your ureter and then up the, uh, or your urethra, and then uh, up the ureter, uh, it does a little bit of damage to like what happened last time with the other doctor where he made a hole in my ureter and that's how the stent got placed out of the body. Um, a little bit of damage, I guess, is done swelling and stuff, so they, they leave the stent in there to allow your ureter to heal. This last time it had to be eight weeks I had to wear it to, to make sure the hole healed up. This time I'm only wearing it for about three days, four days. So on Saturday I get the joy of, the, instead of it being inside of my body, the stent, where you can't, you know, to where they have to go in with that big ass tool like that doc did to retrieve it out. Um, this time I have a string uh, yay long hanging about you know hanging out of my weenus uh, so on Saturday I get the, the the joy of grabbing that string and getting to pull the the uh, stent out of my body uh, on Saturday um, I may videotape that I don't think I'm going to show my junk 
but I may videotape it right on the edge to where it's getting pulled out and <laughs> we'll see <laughs> we'll see how that goes maybe I will maybe I won't pass out I don't know but uh, yeah maybe I'll record that <laughs> to show that the following week uh, a nightmarish thing happened last night at three o'clock in the morning I figured I'd share with you what they do with that string is naturally when you're in surgery you're flaccid so what they did with that string is that string comes out and soon as it comes out it's taped around your shaft right so then you have some uh, some extra slack hanging well and this is something I'm gonna <laughs> talk to the urologist when I go back and see him in, in two weeks I, I think they should tape that a little bit differently and here's why I went to bed last night, or uh, Wednesday night, into Thursday. I went to bed Wednesday night, and um, everything's fine, everything's cool. But I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning in the most pain I have felt in a long time like that. Uh, it felt like it was a razor blade inside of me. And what had happened was, like us boys do early in the morning when we have to go pee, we kind of get a little bit of a chubster going. <laughs> you get that morning wood going on. Well, when you get morning wood with a piece of tape and that little string coming out of you, now instead of waking up with morning wood, <laughs> I got this bent thing going on and the string is pulling and the tape is pulling and it felt like a paper cut and somebody had a razor blade going in my weenus. So I had to very painfully get out of bed and I had to untape myself to relieve that and finally relieve myself. And then what I did is uh, after I had, you know, naturally went back down to my flaccid self, this time where it comes out, I made it loop and then I just took the end and then taped it around myself so I have a nice long loop so if that happens again it can stretch into the string and then go back to where it was so we'll test that out tonight too. we'll see how that goes uh, but man that was a nightmare this morning anyway that's it I survived surgery the uh, the you know my new urologist did fantastic he did a great job everything's working normal it hurts Wednesday uh, was like when you would go to the bathroom it was like somebody had uh, nails it's like you had nails inside of you and glass when you're going it really hurts it buckles your knees bad uh, where I would say going to the bathroom um, was a the pain was at 10 or 11 or 12 on a scale of 10 um, Thursday which is today because I record on Thursdays and put the video out on Friday uh, Thursday it's probably about a seven or a six so it's starting to go down tomorrow will be much better and then the old yankaroo comes out on uh, Saturday so that's it everything is going good everything's going well I'm not in the hospital for three more days with an emergency nephrostomy tube hanging out my back um, so that's a good thing right right thanks for all the well wishes from everybody thanks for all the positive feedback that I got from everybody um, I do appreciate you guys so much I, I wasn't expecting anybody to really leave any comments. I figured people had just left and that was it, the channel, because I haven't been doing much of anything. But I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Makes me feel good to read it. Makes me feel good that you're out there and that you, you know, you're know you behind me. I really, really do appreciate that very much. Um, that is it. I will probably be posting another video next week. <laughs> I, I, may, I may show that, that uh, stent coming out of me. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's it. Get some sun, get some exercise, be healthy, and I'll see you when next time. Bye.